Stefanus's biggest inspiration was her mother, who she says was an outspoken political activist and a member of the Swapo Women's Council in Falgras. From an early age, Stefanus also fought for the voiceless in Falgras where she grew up. While attending high school at Dobra near Vinduk, she was surrounded by many that had various political views. However, she relates one memory that stood out. My inspiration was the story of Kasinga, that event, that fateful event, where children also succumbed. And that was, that was the, the, the one behind my move. said, if other people's children can die for the struggle, what makes me to be so much protected that I cannot join and, and make my own decision to join the struggle? And at that stage, it has reached that level where I felt I do not need permission anymore. Stefanus, together with other students from Gibeon and Martin Luther High School, left the country via Botswana. The group was first arrested at Hobabas. Looking at the, the caliber, the group, the age group of students, school children, somebody must have transported them. So they needed the name of the driver and the car, the number plate. And our refusal to provide this information is what landed us in trouble. But eventually, the group arrived at the Topia Sanyeko military training camp where she completed her infantry training. Stefanus and other young Namibians were sent to Nigeria to improve their educational qualifications. And we were clearly made to understand, then, back then already, that you are going to be going to be sent to school, to be going to school, to, in order to be prepared one day when we need people, when we are going to need people to wage the second phase of the struggle. That's the economic emancipation, which we are clearly witnessing today, as difficult as it is. And I believe this too will pass. Stefanus returned from Nigeria four years after the country gained its independence but what she found back home was devastating. When I expected not to find my parents maybe alive, that is something which I had preempted. But I never, I don't know why I never thought that it might be my brother. Because I knew that people were repatriated. There I made a mistake where I automatically assumed that I was coming home to find him or to meet him. And that was a very deep sinking heartbreak for me when I found out that he never returned. Despite losing loved ones, friends and fellow compatriots, Stefanus is hopeful that the sacrifices that many like her had made over the years were not in vain. Na Tangwijimi NBC News, Kiet Mansuwap.